The Cradle Attack Series, part one of three. Hey guys, Coach Tom here again with Reese. We're having a look at our Cradle Attack Series. You guys loved our Cradle video series. You asked for attacks, so I'm gonna give you three. Here's part one. So, Reese is lying down here and I may have passed his guard or I may have just simply been in a side control position and grabbed the cradle. So, basics, top leg, head, and uh, for most of my students in my academy, I recommend this type of uh, S grip here, uh, just to give you maximum reach. You can use different grips. I do prefer the S grip like this. So once I've got Reese here in this cradle position, you guys have seen me do the series on the cradle from here, like this, and we can certainly do that and start attacking from here. But really, once you're here, this is a different position. And most of you, when you talk about wanting cradle attacks, are talking about it from this position, which is kind of the preliminary cradle position. So these attacks are really great attacks. They're very high percentage, and I'm gonna show you the first one now, which is gonna be our anaconda choke. And I'm just gonna show you a little thing that I've found really helpful over the years. So when I've got Reese here, what I look for is I'm looking for, because I'm not grabbing this arm, I'm looking for Reese's arm to come up here towards his neck. The beauty of the cradle is I can hold him here as long as I want. And then eventually when I see his arm going up like that, that's my ticket. As soon as I see his shoulder up here near his head, this is my ticket to go for the anaconda. So once I've got this green light, this is what I'm going to do. Watch. I'm going to fall as I drop my elbow towards his face, just like I'm elbowing him in the face. Don't try to lock it up here, guys. One of the biggest mistakes people make with the anaconda, so I'll just perform the technique once so you can see it from this angle. And then I'll walk in and get my tongue. If I need to, I'll snag his legs and bridge but it really just puts a lot of neck trauma on him. If you've got a good squeeze, and if you don't train for one, you should be fine with a normal anaconda finish. So I'm just gonna show you guys a little tip that really helped me. When I started doing anacondas, I used to first try to get this hand really deep, all the way through past his shoulder, and then I'd lock it off like everyone else. The problem I found with doing it like that is quite often there was a little bit of space and then strong guys can get out, and because of the nature of this position, I don't always end up on top. So one thing that I changed was I tried to move my forearm straight into his neck, which means not locking here and more locking sort of over here, this floating area in front of his face. So watch what I'm talking about here. I've got him like this, and he brings his arm up. That's what I'm looking for. So as I fall back, I throw my elbow straight down towards his jaw and I lock right in front of him. So you can actually see now that my forearm is right here in Reese's throat. So right there in Reese's throat, okay? Now, if I went like this, see how Reese's throat kind of has a softer bicep and it, like this area here, there's nothing that's really gonna make him panic right now. But as soon as I make my grip that little bit shallower, now he's got my forearm right in his throat. So when I actually go to finish, he's gonna have to tap so quick. So let's have a look at this attack. Cradle. Wait for the arm to come up and lock. Run in, squeeze, get the finish. If you've run all the way in and he's not tapping, then grab his leg and bridge into him as you squeeze. Okay, but in real life, it should just look like this. Got him in the cradle, arm goes up, anaconda goes on, get the tap, okay? If you wanna practice your squeeze, practice it on your leg. You squeeze for 30 seconds every day. In two weeks, you're gonna have a bad ass squeeze on that anaconda. There you go, guys. Cradle, attack, part one, anaconda choke. Have fun. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high-level jiu-jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.